Hi there everybody. So in today's video I have my, my CLK here. This is a 2002 the uh, convertible um, and I was uh, I just replaced this speaker here because it was all uh, broken around and it was uh, making a noise. Um, I've also I'm gonna replace the driver side over there so I'm just gonna I will show you uh, how I did it because these speakers are not um, the original ones are kind of glued into the into the this mounting and uh, it'd be a good idea to reuse the mount um, now there's this size here is 16.5 uh, millimeters uh, the ones I bought these speakers are uh, this make FLI um, and like I said 16.5 millimeters um, and also I put the screws in there and they just go through the case in here but it, it is very well secured so and I reuse the uh, the old uh, Mercedes sponge here so uh, we're gonna have a look at the driver's side and also removing the uh, the door card and then changing that but um i also changed that one but i didn't do a very good job of that because that is that is supposed to be a 10 uh, mil speaker but i put a, a bigger one um and i had to cut it along here and also i had to reduce the size of the uh, original mount here which I'm not really happy with um, so I may have to repair that at some point but um, for the time being we're going to concentrate on this the front one of the door if you if you change this one as well um, well just buy a 10 millimeter speaker and you can unscrew the old one and screw a new one back in but with this one you can't unscrew the old one so we'll have a look at that on the other side okay so to remove this panel we're gonna need uh, two types of uh, torques which is this kind this is a t20 and a t30 maybe one of these something like this to pry open the panel and um, this is a small Phillips bit here it's a PZ1 now also I'm gonna use this to um, take this little cover off When we take that cover off, we have access to the T30 screw in there. I'm also using a knee pad so I don't hurt my knees. Now, the next uh, T30 screw will be hiding just behind this panel, this little cover here.
for Phillips screws plus the Torx. The T20. It's just here. And the, the three Phillips are these three, which I've already loosened. and remove that plate okay uh, now we can use that to pry this door open uh, it's just popped in it's just holding in with those little uh, plastic buttons I'm also um, going to remove uh, the little tweeter up here before removing the the panel. This one just pulls out. pulls out at the top there and then uh, you need to just uh, lift it up and now we can uh, try and get this panel off Okay, so now this is out, um, we need to disconnect the cable inside of here, just uh, have a look if we can, we have uh, this cable, so I'm just going to pull it So and then we also have just the connection for the electric seats here just pulls out and in some cars we have the little uh, cables for the lights which we can also disconnect just down here And that's the panel out.
and now you may, may be able to notice uh, so that's the original mount and the original speaker there it's falling apart this uh, speaker it's uh, it's just holding in with some Phillips screws so um, So I think I'm, I may um, actually try to get some speakers and try to change that one as well. But uh, I've got the speaker for that one. So we're gonna. That one is uh, just simple. It's got the the Phillips screws, and you can take it out. Uh, however, that one there is the one that needs a bit more work. So I'm using my T20. Okay, uh, that speaker is also all broken inside, as you can see. But the thing is, these uh, speakers are glued in there, so um, that's the reason why it's a little bit difficult to um, take them apart. So what I did the last time to take this out is I cut the speaker here. First, first of all, um, we're going to remove this wire. Just gonna desolder it, and then I'm going to cut all these uh, bits here. We will then be able to remove the speaker and then uh, take it out, take out the sides. So let's just do that now. So I'm just going to leave the uh, soldering uh, heat up a little bit. So I'm just going to use this here to cut along that um, speaker. You could use uh, anything really, you could use another uh, type of saw or, or just cut them really, maybe cut them with a, a pair of pliers that cut this kind of thing. I just find this a little bit easier. So that's what I'm going to do all around. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove the soldering here. take that out now um, basically this uh, the speaker is all uh, st stuck around there so I'm just gonna get a screwdriver and I'm going to start opening that Okay, just uh, holding this here on the vise. Um, just using a heat gun. Just heat up the uh, surroundings a little bit here. Maybe make it a little bit easier to remove.
Okay, so this is uh, what I'm trying to remove, basically, the old uh, speaker bits. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, remove all that surrounding. Okay, so I hit, the, hit this up a little bit with the heat gun as well. Uh, just trying to see if I can remove it without losing the glue. And I will reuse it, I will stick it on the new speaker. Okay, put that to one side and now the next thing is to remove this cover here we want to get it out of, of there so um, that's another task here again I'm just going to keep this up a little bit Hopefully that will help, but ideally what I want to do is remove this cover. And that's going to take me some time. That's what happened the last time. One bit, the rest becomes a lot easier to start coming off. So that's basically what you need to do. You need to remove this from in there and it's, it's just glued in so it'll take me a little while to take it out but that's the idea. So you can get it with a screwdriver from here, maybe a slightly bigger one and work your way around. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So if you hit this up uh, a little bit more, it will ease off the, the glue quite a bit and it will be a lot easier to pull out. Okay. It's all nicely out. So, uh, as I said before, this is the uh, the speakers that I bought. 6 inch or 16.5. They do come with a, a tweeter, uh, but the car already has a tweeter, unless you want to use the new one, so then you can go ahead and use the new one, you need then to use this here to connect it, it's not really difficult, you just have to, it's all already wired, also uh, I won't be needing that, I just need the speaker. And I'm going to leave that in there. And I've got some screws here. Everything is in the boxes. It's 
so this will sit very nicely in there and our wire can just uh, go back in where it came from like so and then we're gonna solder it in there So basically now it's just a matter of you can use what I did is uh, I just screw my screws in this in the groove of the uh, that cover that came out and the screw goes all the way down and the screws at the bottom here and that works quite well so just calculate where you're gonna have the speaker where the connectors are here so you can solder it there so I'm gonna just do it somewhere there and we're gonna have another Phillips screw here so I'm gonna have that uh, one two three and four and be careful not to pierce through your nice brand new speaker that would be tragic. That's it. So you may have noticed the screws have gone through the, the plastic down here, but that's holding in really nicely in there. And now we can solder the wire. So just put that there so I don't damage the, um, the speaker. So it's just a matter of soldering. I will do the green one, green and black to the positive and the black one to negative there so that's the idea Okay, my wires are in there, nice and secure. Just gonna leave that like so. And we are ready to plug them in and have some music. So that's pretty much really. I'm gonna get this obviously screw back in the door and uh, get the door back panel back on and uh, try to get another speaker for the other side. 